my daughter had one of those really neat, like pink Barbie Hot Wheels type cars that you, it's battery operated. Did your kids have those? You mean the one that they actually sit in and yes. drive themselves, not yes. a toy one for the Barbies? No, this okay. is what they sit in when they're toddlers We've or maybe seven. Never had any of those, except for one of the little tyke ones that you move around with your feet. Oh, sure. Like the Flintstones. Like the, I was going to say the <laughs> Flintstones. Well, there is one that's coming out, or it's actually out now, from Tesla. Oh, and come it's, on. Yes. It's called the Cyber Quad. And they were going to make an adult version, but for some reason that one did not hit the market. And so they put the kids one out there. So I remember that the little Barbie car was maybe 200 bucks, something like that. Can I back up a second? Yeah. This is this sounds like it's more than just go out into the driveway in the road. Right. This is more of an ATV style. For kids. But it's for kids. What age? Uh, they're saying like between 6 and I guess 12, 13, something like okay. that. So we're talking helmet and pads. Right. All right. But a six-year-old can get in one of those little Barbie cars. Some some six-year-olds can. Yeah, but this is different. I mean, it is a little different. I'm sure that. this thing's got a little speed to it. And a little price tag. Uh-huh. $1,900. All right. Well, I'm out. <laughs> Rob and Liz. His morning crew. You probably may do one of these with your family, an advent calendar, and they can be fun. His Morning Crew with Rob and Liz, his radio. I haven't done one in years. You haven't? No, and I don't know why. We just don't do them. Yeah, sometimes you in just our forget. Family. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, you, yeah, you do have to buy a new one every year, exactly. right? Exactly. Because you open those things up. <laughs> well, I love what they did for the sibling group. There's Frank and Drac and Penelope and Miko and Timon. And so what these brothers and sisters did with their advent calendar mm-hmm. is... Did it all in one day. <laughs> well, it's hard to they keep the kids from patient. doing it. I mean, the insects that they were able to eat out of this was just, you know, delish for them. Back up? What? Meerkats I'm talking about. I'm sorry. I didn't clarify that. Oh, thank goodness. I was like thinking these are, toddlers. Yeah, <laughs> these are meerkats at the London Zoo, and they thought, let's give them an advent calendar. They'll enjoy that for 24 days, and they demolished it in one day. I mean, the insects were really nice. They like to eat the insects. <laughs> or the... Were the insects live? Because it would be hard to keep them in there also for the 24 days. So, mm. yeah. That's probably yeah. the urgency on why they ate them all quickly. Because yeah. they saw them moving around and yeah. you know how kids are. They got to get to the jelly beans. So, yeah, the yeah. little tasty treats for the meerkats at the <laughs> London Zoo. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. Not sure if this would be a Christmas gift of choice for a lot of people, unless you really like lobster and butter mixed into. A candle. It's Robin Liz, his radio. I, I think that sounds not good. No. At all. No, I don't know what it would smell like. Now, maybe it will smell like you just walked into Red Lobster and you go, oh, I just need a lobster now. I think that's the goal. Isn't it Red Lobster selling this thing? No, no. It's Get Maine Lobster. I think it's um, Maine and, and, you know, they're trying to promote what they do. Like, that's their kind of bread and butter. Candles? No, the lobster. That's what I thought. Yeah. Maine lobster. But delicious lobster. Well, I mean lobster and drawn I'm butter. Getting hungry. Yeah. It's good. I just want a lobster now. But do you want a candle that smell because I never no. find that the candles are one hundred percent what it says on the True. front necessarily. Mm-hmm. Like I have one that's um snickerdoodle. And it doesn't really smell like snickerdoodle. It smells um very sweet and cinnamony, mm-hmm. but not exactly like a snickerdoodle cookie would smell. When you're There's making one it. in my house that's supposed to be pumpkin, and I I feel like I get physically ill when I smell that scent. I'm like, what is? That's not no. Well, so we have uh, one in the in the half bath, like the guest bath, and it's a small small bathroom. And so when you light that candle, it just permeates, and you walk in, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> so, well, what in happens the- in that room? You kind of need that. <laughs> Robin Liz, his morning crew. Oh, did you hear what Legos did? Mm-mm. The owner of the company said every employee, they have like 20,000. Wow, that's a lot. Wow. 20,000 people that work for them. They said all 20,000, three extra days off. What? Yeah, on top of whatever they already have on their vacation. Wait, so you take what everybody makes per day, 20,000 times three, that that's a lot of money. Plus, they said a top up on their promo on their not their promotion on their budget are uh, not their budget their bonuses yeah thank you oh, okay <sighs> where's my brain <laughs> on their bonuses yeah so they're going to get extra 3 days off per year plus or- extra in their bonus 
No, just this year. Oh, okay. Plus okay. extra in their bonus. So before the end of the wow. year, they get another three days off. So that sounds like one of those companies, you know, there's always a list every year of the top companies to work for. I'm thinking Lego's trying to get at the top of the list. Well, they had 140% profit this year. People are staying home doing and, some Lego. And they're like, we are just so grateful for everybody's hard work. Wow. You know, hey, take another three days off. We'll give you extra in their bonus. And what the and the last time they did the extra in the bonus was 2015, mm-hmm. where everybody got an extra month of salary. What? So some people are thinking that might be what they do again. You know what? They are trying to combat that supply chain issue themselves. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just neat. So I'm I'm like Legos. Hats off to you. And if you're looking for a job, maybe you check Lego. Yeah, because they're they're doing pretty good. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. Online, all of a sudden, it's just exploding everywhere where you see a little baby at one day old come home from the hospital and introduced to the husky in the family, the family dog. And then all of a sudden, it goes on and you see one week old, one month old, and it progresses like that all the way till this baby is three years old. And you see the relationship and how inseparable this dog is from the baby. It's amazing. It is. And and the dog is just, I mean, you can see the emotion in his eyes. Normally, like my dog won't look me directly in the eye sometimes. You know, they kind of avert their eyes a little bit. This dog makes a connection with this little boy and it is just the sweetest it's so thing. so cute. You watch these videos, I'm telling you, I feel like your blood pressure goes down. Like you feel peaceful. It just melts your heart. Yeah. When you see that relationship. It is such a cool relationship. The dog, you can see, absolutely loves. And when the baby's sleeping, the dog's like cuddled right up next to this little Spooning child. Spooning the yeah. little boy. Like got his his arm around him and everything. There's a new baby in the family. Oh, no way. And? And the dog is uh, loving on the little girl as Look well. Look at that. And, and almost like a little babysitter, uh-huh. it, it looks like, you know, to make sure he's he and she are okay. I love this. I love this That is so cool. Yeah. Love it. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. You can actually rent the Home Alone house, the McAllister's home, that beautiful, I always ask myself, where do these people work to afford this home? Because it is beautiful. Yeah. But you can rent this through Airbnb. You can only stay there one night. It's not like you can stay there for a week or anything like that. Really? Well, I... Here's what I like about that is I think they're trying to get as many families that are able to stay in the Home Alone home because somebody might walk in and rent it for the entire month and then it's Why one not? person for the experience. I I like it. I like that, you know, not everybody has an equal opportunity because, you know, it's probably a little pricey, but I'm sure the older brother, Buzz, who has the tarantula. He is also the host. I don't think he stays in the house with you or anything like that, because that'd be weird. That, yeah. A little bit weird. Unless but, he stays in the basement. Yeah. But uh, with the, with the wasn't Kevin afraid of the washing machine or the furnace? The furnace, yeah. yeah. exactly. So, um, no, Buzz will host you and show you around and that kind of thing. But you get access to the green robe that Kevin wore through a lot of the movie. Like Does it's the on inside the look like the set that they used? It looks like the set. Really? It's booby-trapped. They have no way. Yes. So you got to watch going up the stairs and the paint cans coming at you. <laughs> they um, also for dinner you'll have cheese pizza. Nice. Nice. Okay. Right? See. Yeah, and it's on Airbnb. I think it's kind of cool. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. I love seeing these recipes on the virtual cookie swap. Even though I'm not great at making things from recipes, and it, it always, I mess up toast. Well, so it, come on. Surprise me that you're not i can i can make an omelet but i i I put it up so high that i burn things oh (laughs) yeah Yeah, you don't want to do that yeah amy's like don't put it up so high and i'm like i want it now (laughs) so i guess i'm impatient Uh, on the the, edges raw in the middle (laughs) i'm hungry i want it now please so anyway I, I i i take a look at some of these recipes i'm like i would so mess these up then you have people like like liz it was like, he, she bosses it. It's amazing. Sometimes I've messed up in the past, absolutely. Oh, no. Where you, you grab, instead of, I don't know, molasses, you get caro syrup, and it gives it a whole mm-hmm. different texture. I mean, you know, you just do. Yep. Everybody has By the that. way, if you want to submit a recipe to the virtual cookie swap, you can do that online at hisradio.com. Wait till you hear what happened to Ninja. Oh, no. Yeah, let me tell you what I did. So <laughs> I was making sugar cookies, was trying to rush through it, and... Uh, 
I wasn't paying attention and had to put in baking soda. It called for like a teaspoon. I ended up putting a cup <gasps> of baking soda in the sugar cookies. So what's that mean? Oh my goodness. Uh, well, <laughs> oh my goodness. My sister came up and we're a family where we we like to taste the the dough even though it's probably not the healthiest thing for you. Mm. Um, but you she yeah. tried to taste it and was like Ugh. <laughs> What, what is this? And I was thinking, okay, I realized what I did there, but I was like, maybe, maybe it'll cook out, no. but it didn't. So. so what I'm curious on is why would you put baking soda in food like that? It's your leavening agent. So it's what helps your it what? rise. Leavening? So it helps it rise? I'm not talking about James Bond here. <laughs> no, it helps the dough rise. So you baking hear soda? of unleavened bread. That's a, like more of a flat bread but this would be a cookie the the baking soda we're talking the book baking thing. soda that you put in the refrigerator right but look with baking the box soda open. is like one of those things that you can use for so many different things but yeah um because you can brush teeth with it too but you can it, it helps to rise the dough and I had so the no sugar, idea but if you go from a teaspoon to a cup it would be like robin liz his morning crew don't know if you caught Ninja, our morning show producer, earlier talk about putting putting too much baking soda while she was baking cookies. Oh, not just a little bit extra. She went from a teaspoon to a cup. <laughs> that sounds excessive. A little bit. And and oh, hold on, hold on. There's one thing she left out. Someone tried these. She you gave them to who? Well, we brought them to my youth pastor. Didn't uh-huh. tell him. We're like, we baked you cookies. He still and got a tummy ache. <laughs> <laughs> he tried it and was like, oh, these are so great. And I'm like, you fibbing. <laughs> you so not telling the truth, being nice. Oh. So how, how was his face and what did he say? It was like, it was like, oh, this is so good. Thank you. <laughs> That's a nice new youth pastor. Exactly. That's a really nice youth pastor. He didn't want to hurt her feelings. My son was making brownies, and instead of a quarter cup of oil, he put a full cup of oil. Uh huh. They never got done. I was like, don't eat those. Your tummy will be messed up for days. Don't eat those at all. <laughs> what happens if you have too much baking soda? <laughs> Too much baking soda, if you just maybe double it, two teaspoons instead of one, it makes the texture a little bit No, I mean to you, to your body. I think your body would in some ways shut down. Uh, In some ways. You mean you're constipated? You can say the word. Well, I'm trying. You say shut shut down. I'm thinking your whole body's organs are going. No, I'm thinking you may not. And I don't know this for sure. I would think you wouldn't visit the restroom for a while. (laughs) Wow. Oh, boy. (laughs) I would think. Okay, then. (laughs) (laughs) Megan's here at 800-447-7234. What was your mishap, Megan? I was doing a little Christmas get-together for my friends from work and church. I have never, like, really had to bake a pie. And uh, so I had done this, like, special recipe, and it was supposed to be cream cheese, and I was going to do pudding on it. So anyway, I got it all together, mixed and everything, and uh, then after it gets cooked, you put it in the freezer and freeze it like an ice cream. Well, um, I put it in the freezer, and then when I started the second one, I thought, you know, because it was just one of those you put in the freezer, I never knew you were supposed to cook the crust. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. That's funny. So so what did you do? So then I started reading the instruction that says you're supposed to cook the pie crust. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Merry Christmas. We started thinking because of the virtual cookie swap that's going on. I don't know if you know about it, but you can submit a cookie recipe, win some cool things. Liz might feature it on Liz's Ugly Bakery, which we do that now on Tuesday and Thursdays during the Christmas yeah, season. twice a week. She's making a lot of cookies, mm-hmm. and I have to do a lot of burpees after that, <laughs> which is an exercise if you don't know. It's nothing to do with belching. No. Okay, so it's we started thinking about cooking mishaps. I mean, Liz's husband, Joey, did what? <laughs> he burnt down the family kitchen. He was making French fries, and he was a kid. It wasn't like it was last week or something. But, um, yeah, he I guess it was a fry daddy or on the stove or mm-hmm. whatever and burnt the kitchen down. I'm sure they banned him from the kitchen for the rest of his life. Not the kitchen, but maybe from making French fries. <laughs> making yeah, French fries. Possibly. Christine is here at 800-447-7234. What happened to you? <laughs> When I was a child, um, my mom was sick, and I decided I was going to make the pancakes. And so I read the instructions, and 
and and did everything except I did put too much baking soda. The pancakes turned green when we put the. Oh, they turn color! Oh my, <laughs> that's wild. I was mortified. I, I would was imagine. <laughs> too funny! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Robin Liz, his morning crew. Some people just need that adrenaline rush to start their day. His morning crew with Robin Liz, his radio. This one dude did. He goes sky surfing. That's like surfing, but in the sky. You jump out of a plane with your parachute. You have this little sky surfing board, and then you kind of do twists and turns and somersaults and stuff like that. Pull the parachute, and boom, you're down on the ground. Who thinks of things like this? This guy decided, I'm going to make the world record of how many helicopter spins I'm going to do. And, and it's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> Guy's upside down as he jumps out of the plane with his parachute, and then while he's upside down, he spins around like a helicopter. Wow. He did 160, which turns out to be a world record. So he's in Guinness now with a world record. He did 160 of those spins. Good grief. Before he pulled the ripcord. I'm thinking, how dizzy was this dude? Exactly. <laughs> before he hit the ground. And he did it over the Egyptian pyramids, too. Oh, so, no, that's cool. Yeah, I know, right? So well, He looks like a figure skater. You know how fast they do their spins on the ice? Oh, I see. It, it's what he looks like he's doing. But, you know, how many thousand feet mm-hmm. in the air? Wow. How you don't lose your cookies in that? I mean, <laughs> you know, right? right? But he, Sorry, he Egypt. did it. <laughs>